Hi everyone, this is uh, mostly for the Belleville Police. Um, I miss uh, doing the uh, ride-alongs and all as a uh, Belleville Police Chaplain. And folks have really liked my date squares. I've said to people how shockingly easy it is to make uh, these date square recipes. So I thought I'd throw them together uh, now. And I just use the uh, this book, uh, Companies Coming, Jean Perry. I use her uh, recipe for the uh, date squares. So first thing I do is get my dates on the stove. Two thirds of a cup of water, half cup of sugar, and then one and a half cups of dates. And I usually get the uh, pre-chopped dates. And it doesn't have to be exact. We just sort of guess. This is a pretty uh, forgiving and easy recipe. And I put this on the stove. At a um, medium heat, the low end of medium. And so you get that sort of thing in your pot. Usually by the time we throw in together the rest of the, uh, the top, um, the dates will be cooked. So in here, I'm going to put one and a quarter cups of flour. Again, it doesn't have to be... Um, this is not a recipe where you've got to be really precise in terms of weighing ingredients. And sometimes you have to be really careful, of course, with uh, how you measure your flour and all of that sort of thing. But this is not one of those sorts of recipes. And then I'm going to get a cup and a half of oats. of brown sugar and you always pack your brown sugar of course when you measure brown sugar bit of salt. So a half teaspoon of salt. And then a teaspoon of baking soda. And then, now usually I do some mixing of the top at this point. So just sort of mix it in some like that. And then for this recipe, I often just get in there with my hands to mix in the butter for the uh, bottom and the top. Just keep, it's called rubbing, rub it together and you have a heck of a mess with your hands at the start, but it'll get better. of course in the kitchen keep your uh, hands clean and your fingernails short so you can stay clean I usually uh, put this in a 9 by 9 pan uh, that's a 9 by 9 and I grease around the edges and 
And I use this stuff that I get at a uh, Bolt Barn Cake Release. But you don't have to. You could use some uh, shortening or something like that. And I just run it around the edges because I'm going to line my pan with parchment anyway, like that. And then I'm going to take a good chunk of this, just a little bit more than half. I think of it kind of like three-fifths. And uh, we'll keep two-fifths for the top. Round about something like that. And then first, just spread it loosely in the bottom of your pan, your 9x9 nine nine pan. And then you want to pack this down into place. Just use a uh, fist, it works pretty well. Pack that down. So the dates are pretty much ready. If you think about what you're doing with the dates, with the uh, fruit, uh, water, and sugar, you're basically making a jam. So you want it kind of like that. It's cooked out pretty good, and that's going to continue to thicken uh, and cook in the oven. So I just pour that on top of the base. Spread that out. So when I brought these in for some of the uh, police shifts, I've said to folks, start to finish. It bakes for about 28 to 30 minutes, but start to finish, you're only about, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes making this up. So it's pretty easy. And then you take the rest of this crumb top, and what I do is just sort of drop it here and there in, uh, across the top. Just try to make sure you got most of it covered. And get it into the corners and all. that and then I stick it in the oven I cook or bake uh, with convection so the recipe is it's 350 for half an hour I think uh, I usually do it about 330 for 28 minutes that looks about right and so you let it cool for a little bit and uh, then I take it out of the pan and um, use a big uh, kitchen knife and cut it up into squares so that's the uh, date squares it's really really easy